Hello everyone, and welcome to another video by me, The Witcher George. So today, I'm going to be talking about something that, well, I was sat down, I was like, right, what's the next video going to be on? What character could I talk about? Which area could I talk about? And then I came up with this idea, and I thought this would be something that's really interesting. To be honest, I thought about talking about The Witcher 1 Remake, and I've got some videos I'd like to make about that. But then I got thinking about something else, and I thought, what, what, what do I actually want to see? What do I really want to see from The Witcher games? What is the thing I want to see the most? And I thought, you know what? We had some recent bad um, adaptations of some of the material we all love, and I thought I would love to see a proper adaptation of The Witcher books. And I think this is something that people have wanted for a really long time, especially from CD Projekt Red, because, you know, we've played The Witcher 3, we've played The Witcher 2, even The Witcher 1 has, you know, although it's, it's aged a little bit now, and people would probably burn me alive for saying that, but, you know, the, the Witcher books, they, you know, imagine that in the style of The Witcher 3, or maybe something as a mixture of all three games. And I was like, this is something I want to see. And I thought I'm going to put a video together, I'm going to talk about why I want to see it, I'm going to discuss what, what I think would be like a good thing to do for the, if they're going to do an adaptation of this. And yeah, I just want to hear your guys' thoughts too, so I'm going to tackle this, this sort of video, on why The Witcher books should be adapted. So, my sort of base idea for how I think you could adapt the Witcher books, and look, I know that I'm not a game developer, and uh, to be honest, I get it guys, there's a lot of YouTubers out there, they do a video like my rewrite of this story, my blah 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 blah, and I think they're fun videos, but obviously they're not game developers, they don't actually know what goes into making a game, how you can properly adapt something, it, it's, yeah, I know it can be annoying, but just, you know, for my general idea, and you can point holes in it, it's, it's fine, is I would like to see the entire book story in a trilogy of games. Or, if the book story is just too short to encompass a trilogy, you could just make a single game covering all the books, which could be similar in length to The Witcher 3, or way longer, which is something I think most of us would be fine with. You know, as many games as you need to tell the story with satisfying bits in between, I think would just be a good, a good start with it. I mean, obviously, I would love to have a Witcher story adaptation game series where it goes over every single Witcher book per game, and I would love for the to be, well, regardless of whether or not they adapt, you know, one book per game or something like that, which I just don't think there is enough content there for a game. But if they did do that, I would love if they embellished parts of it with their own kind of CD Projekt Red flair, they add in their own uh, side quests, contracts, other stories. I think that what I'd like to think of is the book story is like The Witcher 3's main story. Think about The Witcher 3, there is so much more to it than just the main story, or even the story of the expansions. There's all the side quests, there's all the little other content you can do, and that's what makes The Witcher 3 so good. So you could do that with each book being about a different section. And I know there's a, there's a sort of issue within the books where it goes from one character to another, and the problem with that is obviously we'd like to just play as Geralt, but I think that could be a benefit. It would be really interesting to see how the game plays depending on which character you are. I'm always concerned to say they should expand stories because I think we've seen that with other adaptations and it can be pretty terrible. And uh, But I, I still think that there is room for it. As long as you stay true to the source material, you don't deviate from the basic main story, then you can just add little bits around it. It's not really like against the law necessarily, it's just something that I think would enhance the overall story. So you keep within what is in the story, you don't do anything too law-altering, well, law you just do something where you have the main story, so this is what happened, this is what happened, there is nothing else that happened, this happened, but there was also these little things that happened in the background, like Geralt did this contract, and yeah, he doesn't talk about it later on, but that's just because it was a contract or something. I think that's fine. And yeah, that could either be one long game, a few games, it could be one game per book, it could be just something like that. I think that would be a really good way to adapt the books, and I would love to see that. It would be interesting to see the different playstyles. You play as Geralt for a bit, you play as Ciri during her story without her powers. You could also possibly, you know, with the other sections of the book, play as Yennefer a little bit, just a little bit, which could be quite an interesting thing to see. And yeah, I think that would be a really interesting way to adapt the books. So obviously the way I'd like it played is chronologically, so you start with The Last Wish, then you go into Season of Storms, then into Sword of Destiny, and so on and so on and so on. I mean, I know there's a lot of chronological, or chronology, I don't know, chr chronological issues, but I think as long as you sort of just get the books in the general order that it happened, and if there's a bit of issues with knowing where something is, just sort of, just guess, it's fine. Uh, as, as educated guess, I think that's fine. And that would be a great way to do it. 
You could even think of it as like, if you had that one long game that I suggested, each book is a chapter of the game. So you have like, the Last Wish chapter, and it contains little short stories, and your Geralt's going in and out of it, whatever. But you can, if you're doing it chronologically, you can keep the same armor. That's the thing I want to sort of say as well. There's no reason you couldn't have the same armor if it's chronological, and your Geralt just, you know, you can get new armor as you go into the different zones or whatever. I think that'd be kind of interesting. So I wanted to get a little bit into why this is something that I even want, because, you know, I've talked about I want it to be adapted in this way, but why do I actually want a Witcher adaptation? And as I said before, the main reason is that I think it would be great to have Geralt's full story in game form. I know that there's a lot of discussion around, well, you know, you have the games and then you can have this like TV series about the backstory or whatever, or you can have like a animated series, something like that. But I want to see all of it as games. I don't see why not. If CD Projekt Red have the rights to The Witcher as games and they're able to adapt the stories, I mean, that is a money printing machine. Imagine you get to play as Geralt again and you have a whole trilogy. I mean. Imagine going to Toussaint with his group of friends and you get to see Toussaint, You're, uh, it just, like, imagine playing that story. You could do contracts there as well when you have a bit of spare time around. There's a lot of, like, little time skips and stuff in the books where you could just fit little stories in with these characters and it would be great. I was thinking of a kind of, I mean, I'm not sure how well you could do this, but like a Red Dead Redemption 2 style camp with Geralt's kind of party and they're doing their own things and then you kind of go back to that. It's, it's, I think it could just be such a fun way to see the game. It's such a different game to The Witcher 3, but still similar and within the universe. And it could be open world, it would be so, so interesting. You could sort of switch between different bits, like The Witcher 2 had all those cutscenes where it was characters that didn't necessarily involve Geralt, and we could get that back. You know, we could have the scenes with Yennefer and the Lodge of Sorceresses, we can have some scenes with, I don't know, Vilgefortz, Rians, that kind of thing. I think it would just be such an interesting thing to see on screen, and it would make so much money. I think that's the most important thing because, you know, I think regardless of what fans want or whatever, it's like, will this be profitable? And obviously it would. I think this is without question. I think any Witcher fan here that's watching this video would say, oh, if yeah, if they were made a Witcher adaptation, or if they adapted the books and they did it well, and it was keeping within the, you know, the story, of course we would want to see that. Of course we would. And yeah, if they embellish a little bit, personally, I don't have a big problem with it. As long as they keep the themes and they keep the story from the books. They adapt that story, they don't change the story in major ways here and there, they don't change characters' motivations, they don't do blah, you know, that kind of thing. I don't want that. But what I want is just this story. And the other point I wanted to make is that they're going to be remaking The Witcher 1 soon. I know it's a different studio and I'm really excited to see what that comes out with because I played The Witcher 1, you, you, can, you can see on this channel I did it a long time ago now, maybe, I don't know, it was uh, five, six years ago. And I I really enjoyed playing it and I'm excited to see what they're going to come out with. But since they're remaking The Witcher 1, I'm, I sometimes have this feeling of like, oh, remakes, remakes. I mean, I want to see this remake, but there is all this content that's available. Like, just use that. That would also be amazing. And I thought, you know what, why not have both? Now look, I am aware that they're making a new Witcher game, and I've talked about this on my second channel if you want to go and see any of those videos, I've talked about it in depth I think, and I, I could do some more on here. But I feel that people still want to see Geralt. That is the comment I see the most, oh where's Geralt, where's Geralt, where's Geralt? And yeah, of course we'll come to love the new characters as it goes on, if it's written well and it's a good game, but I think people still have a hunger for Geralt because it's it's a bit like Halo or something like that, it's like people wanted to see the Master Chief so they brought him back and obviously that didn't go so well, but I think in regard to The Witcher, Geralt is The Witcher. The game is called The Witcher, whatever, and when you think of The Witcher, I think Geralt comes to mind for most of us. Of course there are other great Witcher characters, you know, there's Letho, Lambert, Eskel, that kind of thing, but Geralt is The Witcher, and it's sort of like, there is all this content, so why not adapt it? I think that there, there, it's sort of this question of why not? Like, if, if you have the resources, you know it would be profitable, just make it. I, I, I know that sounds so simple, but sometimes I really think these things are. If you have this content, and you can make it, and it will make you money, make it, <laughs> you know? It sounds quite obvious. You know, I'm sure there are other things around it where, you know, if you make a new game, you can make new products and you can sell them and then it makes you more money, you know, like, I know the sort of toy industry or model industry is a big one for these kind of games and that kind of thing, but there's all this stuff from the books that hasn't really been brought into CD Projekt Red's Witcher world that they could make characters and sell stuff for. 
I don't see why this is not something that is not like an amazing thing to do. I would love to hear what you guys think. If you guys think you're so wrong, they can't adapt the books, because if they adapt the books, this, 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 this. Because I've been thinking it through, I've been like, is there some sort of major thing I'm not seeing? And I feel that most of the stuff in the books, that even if it doesn't involve Geralt, you could even just tell it as if it's sort of like a book in the game. So you have a cutscene, it just shows what happened. And then you embellish the story in parts, and I don't see an issue with that. I think it would be so interesting to see a younger Geralt as well. I want to see how Geralt is in the, the Witcher games Geralt sort of progresses through his story and then ends up in the Witcher games. It's just all of this seems like a no-brainer to me. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you want an adaptation of the Witcher books in game form? I know there is a lot of other options. I would also love to have a, a different TV show or a sort of animated series that would also be great and maybe a better way of telling the story. But I just am always of this mindset that if there's something there that we like, and it hasn't been done yet, as a game or something, why not just do it and just see what it's like? Uh, it could be awful and, well, yeah, then it's awful and just stop. Or it could be amazing. <laughs> so regardless, I think the first one will make money and then they can judge after that. But I think this is just something that would be worth pursuing in some way. If, if they feel that they can do it, I know that it can be quite a task to adapt these things, but they, they adapted the material and then made their own stories with three games and they're all pretty good. So I feel like just adapting... Uh, existing material won't be too difficult, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm really, really curious about this one. I want to get a gauge on what fans feel about this, and if there's any problems they think, oh, well, what if they do this, this, this. I'm really curious, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Check out my second channel, check out my uh, X or Twitter, or whatever it's called. Check out the Discord, and just, yeah, you can interact with me on all these things, and it's, it's a good way to reach me and stuff, so I'd be really curious, send me whatever you're interested in. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have an awesome rest of the week.